What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a quick little project where we're gonna make some air curtain covers on my GT350 here. We're gonna start with a 3D scan, model out a template. Yes, you could do it old school and just use some paper and cardboard and cut it and everything, but I look at the 3D modeling like I need a little bit of practice. Um, print out our template and then that template cut our carbon fiber shape to block the air curtain. So welcome back to the channel everybody. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Like I just mentioned, all the stuff we're gonna do on this little air curtain right here, where the inlet is right here. And if you've been following the channel for a little while, when we took this car to the wind tunnel, one of the tests that we did was actually block that air curtain. I'll put a tag to the wind tunnel video right up here if you wanna see this car in the wind tunnel. We got some interesting results for sure. So by blocking this air curtain right here, we did pick up like three tenths of a pound of drag, but we also picked up about three pounds of downforce, which is about a 10 to one efficiency gain. Now the reason Ford put it there for gas mileage, that little bit of drag reduction, Ford saw it as great. If you're at all familiar with my channel, you know, you know, being a track car, you're not really worried about that. You want the downforce or you want the overall efficiency. Yes, we will be picking up less than a half a pound of drag, but the downforce will far outweigh that. A 10 to one drag to downforce ratio on any change you make on a car is actually pretty good. So wings are better than that, um, splitters. So the efficiency is there. The other thing worth noting is in the wind tunnel, we had the stock width wheels and tires on this car. Once you turn this chassis car into a track day car, most people put a wider wheel and tire on it. So on the factory setup where this lets out just across the face of the tire, you put a wider, wider tire on it and all of a sudden the air coming through here just hits the tire, builds up in the wheel well, and obviously isn't a very good situation. So if you have wider tires on the car, this would be great as well. Another thing worth noting is when you block this off, you get a little more high pressure buildup right here. That little extra high pressure buildup gives you a little more high pressure on the front of your, this is the trans cooler on this side, obviously oil cooler on that side. And in the wind tunnel, we had pressure probes on the front and the back of, we only did the oil cooler side, but both sides are extremely similar. Meaning you'll have better flow through your oil cooler, so you'll, you will actually pick up a little bit of cooling capacity as well. So that's another benefit. So I think that's about enough on the you know reason and purpose of these. They may or may not become a part that I offer. If enough people end up wanting them, I'll put a link down below. So yeah, let's just get into the fun stuff. Let's start scanning. <clears throat> All right, so 3D scanners do not like dark or black surfaces. So first thing we're gonna do, bust out the dry shampoo again. All right, so that should be good. All right, so here we are in Revo Scan. You can see I got the scanner right about where I need it. And you can see how it's picking up. So there's the mounting hole, mounting hole, you know, edge of the bumper and everything. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try and do this one-handed for you guys. Hit the record button. And there you go, we're green, we know we're scanning. Whoops, lost track. And hit the play button again. Looks like we lost track here, and I know this is kind of towards the end of my frames. So let's see if we can go back a few frames. There you go. And you know what? I think that point cloud. I think what I'm gonna do is try and pick up on this corner and just get a little bit more around the top, which would be right up in here. So you can see on the top left preview where I'm at, it should pick it up. and just come up and do in here a little bit. 
And I think that's okay. And I think that's okay. Let's see what we get. All right, so if we zoom out a little bit, point cloud. Okay, it's picking up the uh, nut cert right there. So I think we're okay. Yeah, because there is, it's picking up the fender liner. There is a little bit of a gap to the bumper. And I think it's, that's kind of why there's just a little bit of void space right there. But it does have the edge of the bumper, so that should be plenty. So we're going to stop the scan. Um, we'll fuse point cloud immediately. Usually the auto settings are plenty good enough for me. All right, so fusing is complete. Okay, yeah, that's, that's plenty enough to work with. Okay, so there's the edge of the bumper. You know, we got plenty of perimeter of where we're going to make our part. And then very last thing is you want to turn it into a mesh over here. All right, so there you go. There is our 3D part to build off of. All right, guys, so there you go. Uh, scanning is actually done. It was that simple for this little tiny area. All right, and here we are in Revo Studio. Very quickly, I'm just going to kind of cut out some junk I don't need. It'll just make the file a little bit smaller. So the CAD model, CAD modeling and everything will work a little bit smoother. All right, good enough. All right, quick little check, mainly just to make sure the holes line up. And I can see through them. It's pretty good. So yeah, I think we're good. And if you look in here, I'm going to send these with this J-clip and a screw specifically for it, along with this plastic clip. All right, so install is super simple. Like I just showed you, that J-clip is all the way is already on the tab back here of the factory um, of the factory air curtain. You may want to take a little peek through here just to make sure it lines up. There you go. This thing ain't going anywhere. Nice and tight. Done. Alright guys, so this was a quick little easy one. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of the process on a more simple part. Unlike our airbox lids over there, got a whole video series on those. These air curtain blockers will be on the website. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, will come with the hardware and everything. And installing them, my car is up in the air because I'm doing some other stuff to it. You could probably just turn your wheels to the left and then do the passenger side, turn the wheels the other way. Don't even have to lift up your car. Install will be super easy. Also, like previously mentioned, the gain from these is small. It's one of those things where like little bits kind of add up. So you will make a little more downforce supported with our wind tunnel numbers. We're not just kind of making that up. <laughs> and also a little bit better cooling through your heat exchangers down there simply because you're putting a little more high pressure in front of it 
and a little less air is just spilling into the wheel well, giving you just that little bit more low pressure behind it. So it's a little bit of a win-win. Again, link to these will be in the video description below. As always, guys, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one.